Nardo here showing 30 new pro tricks. Most of the tricks were taken from IEM Rio RMRs. I've already covered the maps Mirage Inferno Dust 2. Check the description for those videos. Before we hop into it, if you could take a second to smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, I greatly appreciate all your support. The first trick comes in the form of this nade stack that teams are doing at the start of the round on T sides. They nade stack the top silo of the upper site as CTs drop down from heaven onto it in order to get to top hut. You punish the CTs for doing so and do really good damage onto them or even to get a frag onto that player. A lot of pro teams have incorporated this nade stack. I'm not going to show the PUVs because I've covered multiple teams doing this nade stack in the past which I'm going to link below in the description. What about the quality? Try it yourself, gringo. <laughs> okay, okay. It's it's great. We take it all. Now that is pretty enough. Skin Club, the lowest prices. Use my link in the description for a 7% deposit bonus. After coming up the ladder into heaven, Sin's gonna underhand the smoke onto this beam and then he gets behind the smoke and uses it as cover in case the T's rush and if he were to get flash. When he peeks around the smoke, it acts as a one way as well. In this last clip, nothing happened upper but here in this round, Sin throws the same smoke and then he gets inside of it as ends come out upper and Sin got flashed so he's able to take cover into the smoke and when he recovers, he comes out and he gets two frags off of it. Keto is going to molly heaven. Make sure the windows are broken. He's on the beam here, a line as shown. Then aims here and then jump throw. Zampias flashes door before peeking from main and then kills Searson. The flash doesn't get Searson, but it's a good idea nonetheless because the T's opera gets there first before the CT opera. Bad news Eagles have to retake upper and Rygon standing back corner of credit card throws the upper heaven retake smoke aiming here left click throw. The smoke is used as a bait to make it look like the CTs are retaking from heaven which as you'll see is going to draw the attention of Magus as he focuses and keeps his eyes on heaven. Yuri throws the same smoke the heaven retake smoke used as bait as he retakes from main hard Zhao commits to watching heaven from it. Here's a super easy way to throw the bucket one way smoke heaven retake from inside garage. Duck behind the wall, aim at the top left here, then left click throw. I feel like this one is going to be used more than the credit card one because of the easy lineup. This boost from Iceris is so good, getting him on top of this box here, Noxy, which he sees Halzer cross to T Red. Kike is going to smoke lockers and then Molly towards AC. He stands on the corner, aims at the window, run forward, and jump throw for locker smoke. Gets on top of this silo here, then aims as shown, and then left click throw. So the molly does not cover towards the heaven and the CTs can still peek from it. IM has a flash for door where he stands on the back wall next to the wall that's sticking out. Aims at the bottom left corner of Tetris, then left right click jump throw. Sphinx has a lobby flash where he stands next to this wall, aims at the top part of Tetris without moving his mouse, get in front of the vent, then duck and left click throw. Dupree peeks from inside hut and the flash blinds Zipix, but Zipix gets lucky and gets the kill. Captain with lobby nades aligning with the E, then gets in front of the vent, throws the smoke, throws the flash, and then Molly's back of door while his teammates push in from hut and ramp. Michael is going to smoke main from roof with this lineup here. He will aim as shown, then left right click, jump throw. He proceeds to aim at this position here and then jump throw for the sight flash. Bait have this setup where they have Amster throw the solo main smoke at the start of the round with this jump throw and then Capra Kirk uh, rushes Twinkie, gets on top main and drops down and gets into main and gets 3 frags off of it. The purpose of the smoke from Amster is to give cover for Captain as he drops down, giving cover from credit card and mainly importantly from garage. Yell is gonna molly second vent from T roof, he aligns in front of this line, turns around, aims as shown. Then runs forward and jump throw. Farlick has these nuke upper flashes where he's going to align with this part of the shadow. Stands up, aim as shown, run forward and jump throw. This flash will land on top of the silo and covers a lot of positions. This run boost off the ladder onto the blue and then off your teammate. 
is currently in meta to get an early off angle peek as well as to be able to cross to secret faster behind the cover of the smoke wall. One of the best op angles on T side nuke is getting boosted on T red. This is often a very common play that I see in the pro scene and Kaden gets boosted here, spots Farley and gets a kill on him. Glaive with a 200 IQ play here by shooting the door to make a hole into it in order to be able to trade out his teammate from the window side. Travis has a super easy nade set for the three smoke wall that his teammates drop him two smokes from the same position here, jump throw, run throw bind, and then walk one or two steps and jump throw. I know in the past I showed Jax throwing the same smokes, but his third smoke had a different lineup, but these three smokes here, easy lineup to remember. Kerrigan with a super easy door lurk smoke lineup, he's going to position to the left of the wall, ducks, aims at the black mark above this line, then stands up and jump throw. I lied guys, apparently you can just duck and then jump throw at that black mark above the line and you don't have to stand up, it's going to land in the same position. NQZ gets boosted by Max near the vent to peek over the T's lurk smoke. This is a mouse boost they are known for that I've seen more teams using as of recently, which NQZ eventually picks up the frag. Opano pulls off the same boost to peek over the door lurk smoke, KNG finds 60 on the opposite end of it. Safe has this nice nade that he jump throws that gets the T outside yard that's crossing the T red, does about half his HP. Kerrigan holds this off angle inside lower and what's nice about this position is that if the T's plan on boosting, he can see the player model before the T's pull off the boost and then punishes them for doing so. Did you know you could throw one molly towards Decon and it's going to cover the whole sink area? If you want a faster way to smoke towards Decon, you can just throw it off the B silo here instead of having to stand next to the doorway to line it up. EG take ramp and they're going to commit lower and Breeze has a nade which he's going to use to blow up double doors while Cirque with an op holds the cross and he catches Art doing so. Rain has the only rifle on phase and he's going to get boosted at the start of round behind credit card to peek towards Twinkie where he gets a frag. This is the first time I've seen this boost get a frag in an official match. This garage boost is starting to become more meta by having two CTs near garage in anticipation of the garage smoke where Stout gets boosted to see over the smoke killing Eve jerks. Faze start two CTs inside garage in anticipation of the garage smoke in order to boost but no garage smoke from Fnatic in this round. It's still a strong setup as the T's won't expect there to be two CTs inside garage. After Rain goes and peeks to get info, then he dies, which Fnatic knows he's the outside player. Fnatic are going to speed things up and not clear garage. Robs will come out of his position and gets two frags from it. When the T's throw the fence smoke that gives them cover to cross the T red, you can play around the smoke towards the left here, which Patsy does, and then he doesn't see anybody push through, then he peeks to the left of it, gets a frag, and falls back. If the CTs throw the glaive smoke, you often see that there's a gap here that sometimes the CTs expose, but as a T yourself, you could also expose that gap as well. Robs with an insane ramp flash when smoked off, he ducks onto this black mark on the ground, uses the tip of his flash for the lineup, and it lines with the chair, then left click throw. This flash is going to blind the ramp player, and it wouldn't be a pro trick video without a crazy lineup from Robs. This off angle position Robs is holding at ramp is so good, particularly because you're not getting flashed and it's hard for the T's to trade as they entry out. Robs multi frags in both the clips I'm showing here and then here's another clip with Floppy using the same position but he has an AUG instead and he still multi frags. Heroic are going to run a double ramp setup towards this left position bait and switch. Tessis makes first contact, gets killed and then Shush won't go checked and he's able to pick up two more. Stappy nades radio by aiming at the light, then walks forward and left click throw. This is an easy lineup to remember when radio is smoked off. Rez with the 200 IQ molly, molly the corner so it makes it look like he can't push through, pushes through around it and peeks and kills the opper. Rob smokes radio and then pushes through the smoke at the start of round. He doesn't see anyone before the smoke blooms and jumps on top of the chairs to hold this off angle. Fnatic are going to clear him, however Robs is going to be able to get two frags before dying. As a ramp player, you have to add this move into your playbook. Magis has a nade lineup ready for the T's that are going to enter out ramp. He's going to left right click jump throw as the T's make contact with that flash. And look how much damage this nade does. Takes away half of the HP of the BNE players. Afro is going to peak Tetris with this boost from his teammate, and this off angle boost catches Dihop by surprise, 
and he did not expect this coming his way. A very common play by the CTs is to push through their own door smoke and phase through it and hug this corner after it's done. One counter to this is Jiggle Peek this corner here which the Joko does and he catches Madden by surprise and then they kill him. Snappy at the start of the round is going to underhand a smoke in this corner here near Hut, and what the purpose of this smoke is, is going to put out the door molly. It goes through the wall and puts out the molly. Cross smokes from secret spawn 4, spawn 5 and refrag, aim as shown, run throw bind, then without moving, aim here, then run forward and jump throw. Yo, if you enjoyed this video, help your boy out by liking it, commenting, and subscribing. All these actions are greatly appreciated. Your boy, Nard out here, has been grinding super hard, and I'm just getting started. So thanks all for your support. Till next time, Nard out here, peace.